People ask me why you support Pochettino. Why you continue to support that clown? Jump into the bandwagon. Start saying Pochettino out. Suck him tomorrow. My friend, it's not going to make any difference. And not everybody is trained to do that. I don't hire managers. I don't sign players. And I don't think it's my job to come here and tell you such and such out. Yes, I'm still Pochettino in. And for many reasons. Many, many reasons. Forget the fact that he's playing players out of position. And not using certain players and all that. Forget about that. But there are also tons of other issues that he's dealing with. No manager in the world, Jose Mourinho, Pep Guardiola, Sir Alex Ferguson, Ancelotti, all of them, nobody is going to be able to steady the ship in this Chelsea team. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another injury. Are we Chelsea fans allowed like, to have some joy for at least 24 hours? It's always a problem. You got a dodgy result here and there. After a few minutes, you have some bad news. Romeo Lavia, in case you didn't know, he got injured again today. Oh, I don't know when you're going to watch this video, but the game was on Wednesday, right? Chelsea and Crystal Palace, he came on for only a few minutes. And then he got some muscles injuries again. And this is one of the reasons why I don't jump to the bandwagon, Pochettino out, Pochettino out. People will bring money. Oh, you spent one billion. Listen, you spend one billion and if your all your players are injured, you're not going to bring some magic players from heaven to play football. And their quality, the quality are different. Just because you have full of youngsters in the team doesn't mean that you're going to win games. Nkunku is completely different than Jackson. When Nkunku is there, you can see the difference. But for some reason, or for argument's sake, or for egos, or for ignorance, some people will bring the most stupid, stupid theories ever to tell you how this Chelsea team supposed to win the Champions League, the World Cup, the African Cup of Nations, all the cups in the world. With this team, if you give it to the better manager, he's going to win everything. We're going to win every single game, not going to lose one. Stay deluded. Because this is no reality. This is not reality. This is not like Mickey Mouse kind of virtual games. So we continue here, people. This is my page on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Green Turf. I always follow people back. Always make some interesting posts every single day. Because not everybody is supposed to be evil. We you, Don't force me to be evil. If you don't want to subscribe, okay? You don't want to watch me or you don't want to give me your money or anything. I just don't care. The end of the day, I don't care. I have to tell the truth. Somebody need to tell the truth. And you're not going to make money. You're not going to be successful in this business of social media by telling the truth. You have just to jump on bandwagon. Get him out. Get him out. Suck, suck, suck. Bye, bye, bye. Insulting people 24-7. This is not a good business. Morally, can you look at yourself in a mirror and be proud of the money you are making out of people's misery? Not everybody is supposed to be that way. I know this is what people want to hear in order to say, Amen. People don't say Amen if you are truthful or you respect God or you respect other people. No, because the world is ruled by evil. So you have just to jump to the bandwagon, insult people 24-7, make theories, 
because that's what people want to hear drama lies stupidity discrimination xenophobia tribalism is that what people want to hear so if you have a little bit of common sense you've been in the church even one time you can see that pochettino is dealing with impossible things impossible in the human in the human being level and i will continue to support him until the end not one time this season that he had less than eight key players injured pep guardiola struggled when he got two injuries klopp the same Mourinho, the same everybody even tottenham hotspurs but apparently chelsea don't have the right to complain about everything or anything because they spent apparently 1 billion so lavia was even happy he was celebrating saying that uh, the journey spent uh coming back made me even more grateful for this moment it's been a tough few months but i'm happy and grateful to be back on the pitch with the team thank you for all your support blues it's an honor to finally wear this shirt so the first game the first official game for this guy to play for chelsea and he got injured fingers crossed it's not that bad but the news that coming from many 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 people it doesn't look like it's good and we need some players in January. We need at least a couple key players, especially number nine, a bully. Bully, yes, I'm talking about physicality here. That you look at him and you're afraid. You are like, oh my goodness, he's going to kill me today. I don't care if you are like a very skillful or not. Solid, I'm talking about solid bully in the box. Somebody good with his head somebody with a different profile that's what Chelsea need at the moment and also from listen Rhys J <laughs> let me just give you the list here Ben Chiwell injured Carney Chukwemeka Noni Madweke he was back yeah we know that he's back now Romeo Lavia injured re-injured Trevor Chaloba still struggling with injuries Wesley Fofana when was the last time we saw Chaloba again I don't even remember if he even played two minutes this season for Chelsea. To be honest with you, I know he played, but I'm just trying to exaggerate a little bit here. Rhys James, four months out. Enzo Fernandez, illness. Uh, Robert Sanchez, injured. Marco Correa, injured. Four months out. Leslie Chuk Ugo Chuku, injured. We don't know how many weeks or how many months he's going to be out. People, count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can make a team here. Right? You make a proper team. This team can fight and win the, uh, the Champions League or the Premier League. This injured team. No matter how... <laughs> oh my goodness me. I don't know. The theories that I see on social media, it's just so evil to the point you ask yourself, is this a human being really saying these things to another human being? Now listen, I created my channels, my people, just also to unite Chelsea fans, right? Not to divide them, not to make money, not to say what people want to hear in order to make money. No. I'm here to unite people. We are blues, everybody. I don't care where you're coming from. I don't care what academy you're coming from or what country or whatever you wear. I just care about unity of Chelsea Football Club. That we have to be one as one. Okay, so forget about Pochettino. I'm not happy about the guy. I'm going to always expose him here. But... If I look at the amount of chances that Chelsea are creating, more chances than any team in Europe combined. And 
we still the we we still don't score goals. So when I see the lack of quality in front, and Pochettino hasn't bought any player on his own, every player so far been imposed to him, and all the players was were bought in the space like six months all of them new players that never played together before how do you expect expect a miracle here i don't get it so everybody is not happy about his decision making but still even with this crap selection and positions we still create tons of chances against palace Christopher Nkunku missed like two very good opportunity. Uh, but I'm not going to get on him because he's coming from a long-term injury. Nicholas Jackson, if I speak, I'll be in big trouble. Armando Broja, everybody. So Sterling is not there, but we still have problems. Nobody is scoring clear chances. So when I see this kind of chances, it just tells me that the guy is doing something good. He's just not lucky. It's just not working for him at the moment. So, Madsen played in the wrong position while the left back position is crying and begging for Madsen to be there. The winger position from the right side is crying and begging for Noni Madweke to, to, to start and watch po what Pochettino did. He <laughs> flipping, oh, put Madsen as a winger from the right hand side and put flipping Levi Cowell from the left, uh, from the left side, left winger. Lord have mercy. I'm not happy about what he's doing, but it doesn't give me the right to be evil. Not everybody's supposed to be evil. 